Okay, so in this question we're given a function, a curve that's got some a's and b's in it, and it's a curve of x, and we're told that there's a turning point of minus 1 to minus 16. Sorry, minus 1, come on, minus 16. Um, okay, so when you get a question like this, uh, pretty sure that somewhere down the line you're going to be asked to solve a and b. And in fact, there are three parts of this question, and the third part is exactly that, find a and b. Um, okay, so um, let's see if we've got enough information here. So we've got a point, which is minus 1, minus 16, and we're told that it's a turning point. So that's two bits of information, and we've got two unknowns, a and b. So um, in, in theory, we should be able to solve this. Uh, okay, so let's look at the three parts that we've been asked to do. So first one is show that a take b equals 4. So I like questions that say show because show means that they're kind of giving us the answer and we're just going to find out our way to the answer. And in this case, it's not really that helpful because um, they haven't said show that a equals something or b equals something. And they've got this expression here. So it's a little bit cryptic and it's a little bit difficult to figure out how we're going to get there. So I would just kind of ignore that for the moment and let's look at the two bits of information that we've got. Um, so the first one here is that the point minus 1, minus 16 is on the graph because it, um, we're told it's a turning point so it has to be a point on the graph, on the curve and the second thing is we know it's a turning point so let's look at that first one so let's just plug that number, that, that point into the function so what do we get? so we get y equals so we'll leave the a's and the b's as they are and just plug in the x and the, the y so not y equals minus 16 equals negative a plus b times negative 2 squared. Okay, so that's um, that's the first bit of information that we've got, and let's see if we uh, simplify that. Negative 16 equals um, b minus a times 4. 4 times b minus a, and divide both sides by 4. That is it by, yep, so you get negative 4 equals b minus a, and um, if we rearrange that, we actually get what we want. So we get a minus b equals 4. Okay, so multiply both sides by negative 1, and that's what you get. Okay, so that's the first part done. Uh, okay, the second part says find the gradient function in terms of a and b. So in other words, just differentiate. So we know that y equals ax plus b times x take 1 squared. So y prime, the y derivative. Uh, let's use the product rule. So the derivative of the first is just a times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. So the first times... The derivative of the second is 2 times x take 1, um, times c is the chain rule on the inside, so you just get a 1 there. Okay, so what have we got there, which equals, uh, well actually we can just leave it like that, it doesn't say we have to necessarily expand it out. Um, so we just sim simplify that, just tidy it up, and we should get this answer here. Okay, and uh, that's good enough, I think. I, I don't think we need to take x, take 1 outside of factorize it any further because we're not asked to do that. Okay, so the third part is find a and b. Okay, so um, now we've got one bit of information here, which is a minus b equals 4, and we've got this other bit of information here, which is that we've got a turning point. So the turning point is when y prime, the derivative equals 0, and um, it, it happens when, which point in the graph is it? So the graph looks, well, who knows what it looks like. Um, but at this point, minus 1, minus 16, there's a turning point, okay? So when x equals minus 1. So all we've got to do is substitute minus 1 into the original function. So what do we get at that point? Um, Okay, so actually, sorry, not, not the original function. We want to substitute into the derivative because we want to set that equal to 0. So 0 equals a times, okay, this is the function that we're substituting into, um, x take 1 squared, so minus 2 squared plus 2 times, okay, so we just leave the a's and the b's in there, um, negative a plus b times negative 2 which equals negative 2 squared is 4a, and we've got minus 4 on this side, times negative a plus b. Um, okay, multiply it all out, we get 4a, there's 4 there, 4a plus 4a, so it's 8a 
um, minus 4b. Okay, so bring the 4b over to the other side. So 8a equals 4b, um, and b equals 2a. Okay, so now we've got two functions. So this is one function here, 8a b equals 4, and b equals 2a. So just combine them, so let's put the 2a into there. So we get that a minus 2a equals 4. Um, so what have we got? Minus a equals 4, therefore a equals minus 4. That's one of the answers. And then we've got b equals 2a, so b equals minus 8. Okay, and there's our answer, and we should be able to check that. Let's just check that, and uh, put that back into here. Does a take b equal minus, um, a take b, so minus 4 minus minus 8 equals 4, so that's correct, and b equals 2a, that's correct as well. Um, okay, and so that's, that's good enough, that's our answer.